Uh, no, are, you not guys, even are you guys more louder than um, an average bear? No, I just think at the end of the day, I think it's come to a point or a place mm. where it's just like, if you don't respect us, mm. we have to tell you and be vocal mm. with how we expect you to respect us, which is fair. We've stayed silent for so long on so many different yeah. topics and so yeah. many things. You get what I'm trying to say? But the moment yeah. that we speak up, oh yeah. my gosh, angry black woman. Listen, we call profits into the church. We pay the money to come tell us our future. What's that, mate? That's a fortune teller. That's a fortune teller. There ain't no profit. Profit comes in and warns you and tells you about your life and walks out. Whether you can get five pounds from you or not. But profits get paid and get half the offering and then go away. Sure. Affinity Extra. Be Extra. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are personal and do not necessarily represent the views of Affinity Extra. Yeah, yes, people. Yes, people. That's myself here, Roger Moore from Affinity Extra. We're here to celebrate gospel music of black origin. I'm alongside the lovely Jade. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> she has a nice, so soft voice, but she has to talk up today because she got things to talk about today. We need to go in, guys. Listen. Right, today's show we're gonna go straight, straight in. But apart from that, um, you know we're not gonna be doing no Marvel versus DC today. Um, that was the last episode. Do check that out anyway. So yeah, um, but I, I must think it's gonna get tasty. So I'll be I'll be, I'll be watching the Batman. You watching it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, she'll be, have the, <laughs> she'll be wearing a DC T-shirt next week. <laughs> I don't know about that. I stuttered there. She be she be cat. She <laughs> be me off guard. Listen, she she be a cat with a cat woman <laughs> outfit on. You know. Sorry guys, do not do not go there. But anyway, so yeah, yeah. But you should be. You're but anyway because catwoman's black <laughs> i'm team marvel you know this never gonna stop never gonna change <laughs> you know what i mean all marvel's got is black panther at least they got catwoman oh, you know what i mean you, know what I'm you, know what I'm you can't do black panther Can you know, iron heart eh? iron heart's coming out soon she's basically the black iron man female riri williams please check that out then you've got mars morales he's obviously the black oh the the, 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 the the confusion us the, the confusion us when he when he went because they, because i can't make up no new more characters it's going to be introduced it, into black panther i believe so she's going to be a female that's into technology and stem and all that stuff okay she'll be an intelligent yeah. black woman <laughs> there there's go. plenty of them out there baby you know what i mean yeah i mean i love, I love the black woman them anyway so yeah but this is roger and affinity to to <laughs> break us music black origin and we're here to talk the talk but this show is about current affairs and what we see online so i'm gonna i'm gonna go through a couple of things i got a quick one to go through with and i got a long one to go through with and then another one to head out to finish off with so we're gonna knock this out hopefully in the next 20 minutes to half an hour let's see what we can do all right then jade right so we're gonna check this out hopefully you're gonna just a quick little snippet of a video Video is quite interesting that's all yeah so watch this you guys that was gonna be uh, quite a quick one anyway still yeah <laughs> definitely a quick one anyway so you but what do you think about that that a young a young lady kind of like baiting herself out like that so guys if you didn't know on the screen there's a young white lady because uh, if you're listening into the stage sorry that's my bad because i remember people who actually listen to the show as well um basically there's a young lady here um that is basically became a um, tiktok for, um kind of like um you know tiktok viral things anyway so yeah and it says how did slavery start and she puts up a hand up for young long blonde hair girl and says raises her hand and says yeah correct it was you how you feel about her i mean do you know what? accountability is everything in 2022 okay so you don't feel so far so feel sorry for her yeah what do you mean okay cool all right, all right. i thought <laughs> you'd be like yo man that's the, the yo we kind of dumping her out here anyway so yeah you don't really i think I get what you mean in terms of do you feel sorry for her because technically it didn't start with her. Yeah. Do you get what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's It may not have even been our ancestors if we look at her family yeah, tree. Yeah, true, do you know what I'm true, trying true, to say? True, we true, don't true, know where yeah. she came from mm -hmm. so we can't really say like, oh, it started with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I think what she's trying to get at is, you know what, we can't be ignorant in 2022 and act like that we haven't been a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And I yeah, think yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, as good, good, good that's, that's the main yeah. thing, like, you yeah. know what, we have been a part of the problem and we probably need to try and do something to correct the problem. It's not mm -hmm. on black people to correct a problem that they didn't create so yeah, by yeah, yeah, yeah. owning up and just saying you know what cool yeah 
Yeah, yeah. Kind of was us. So we need to fix it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I respect yeah, yeah. that still. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's cool. That's cool. That's cool, guys. I thought I'd just hit that quick starter. I thought that was an interesting one to put out there. Some people are like, ah, oh, why are you doing this for? Why are we going back into the past for? But I'm just like, yes, you know what, still, it is what it is anyway, still, you know. And, and the moment you realize what your part in history has been and just move forward. Mm. Well, we can't move forward without you actually understanding what, what you've done. It's <laughs> simple as that, anyway. So, yeah. But I'm going to put I'm putting another one which is a bit more controversial, a bit more um, tastier, not even controversial. Is that, is that, that's, that's, is that what I say? Controversial. Um, but this one's a bit more controversial. It's done by, uh, I wouldn't say my boy Tatum, but um, <laughs> but he did this video. But I want to break this down. I want to stop it at certain points, anyway, still, yeah. So, we're going to try and do this as quick as possible. But um, I'm going to be definitely going to be getting Jade's input onto this anyway so yes watch your space guys in my opinion based on my experience and the people that i know because i know a whole bunch of brothers that marry white women 99.99 percent of the time is because of culture i think people get caught up in their emotions and get caught up in rhetoric and think it's about race no it's more so about availability to certain women and culture Normally, when you see men who make it in, in, in the NFL, NBA, and they go marry white women and, and people perceive, oh, that person's a sellout or whatever the case may be. No, it's because that person has now been in, interjected into a different culture. And I said this in my last video about family, marriage. When you look at the statistical data, you see the 70 plus percent of black households, um, children are born out of wedlock. I grew up with my parents not together. Uh, and so when you are involved in a culture that may be more appreciative of the family structure or for, so for whatever reason, the family structure is more intact and you get to a point where you're outside of your childhood, outside of where you grew up at. And now you perceive that I want this family. I want this type of environment. Then you go for the people that are doing that. People that more than likely their parents are together. Or they have a structural environment that you feel like is conducive uh, for what you want in the future. People that are less argumentative, people that are more agreeable with you, people that may agree with you politically, people that may understand financial uh, success and you may want to attain that relationship with them. That has, that has minimal to do with race. And like I said, there's a lot of successful black people that are married to black people. There's a lot of conservative black people that are married to black people. ABL's wife is black. Ben Carson's wife is black. Uh, I can go down the list of men. Okay, I just want to press pause there still, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. um, is it, was, was he bull, bull, boiling or was he going cool, 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 cool? I get it, I get it, I get it. He's speaking truth. He's speaking, he's speaking some truth. He is speaking some truth. So I can't account for all black men that go for white women. Do you get what I mean? I can't. Okay, cool, That's, cool, cool. Okay, however, okay. what I do understand and what I realize, I'm in the corporate world as well, Roger. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Okay, okay, okay. There's not, cool. and, and the reason being is there's not a lot of, um, in the corporate world, mm. you are sometimes the only black woman or the only black guy in, in, the, in yes, the room, in, yeah. in the industry. Yeah, yeah. And then if you're looking to climb up the rank and climb up the ladder, again, mm. you're going to be the only black woman, the only black man. Mm -hmm. And so you end up being around people who are a part of the corporate world and a part of the corporate industry or may have a similar income to you or may have similar views in terms of where you're going. Yeah. And that is how some relationships form, in all honesty. And I think it's, it's a, I think the saddest thing about it is the fact that, like, I call it moving more into middle class society. And I think what makes me sad about it is why isn't there enough black people who already take up that space so that you don't necessarily have to feel like, okay, not this is my only option, but, 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 but just to, just, 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 just talk to somebody who talks my talk. Or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Who I gets, said, yeah, who yeah, gets yeah, it? Yeah. Do you get what yeah. I mean? Like, I do so, find, find it when he says um, somebody less argumentative. The less argumentative is thing, that, 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 I'm a bit like, mm, okay, I feel like you're just, <laughs> you're tarnishing everybody now. Like, yeah. but I do, I understand where it's coming from. I yeah. do understand where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. I do think sometimes, and this doesn't go to, this is not, I'm not talking about everybody, but I think how the media portrays us and how we've been taught to handle Com things yeah, and to communicate, do you get what I mean? And things like that. I understand certain aspects of where he's coming from. However, I don't feel like he can speak for everybody. Okay, cool. So black girls are more likely loud. I'm calm. 
<laughs> like I am probably, honestly, like, I am probably one of the calmest black girls yeah, that you will yeah, meet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, but, I'm not but an argumentative but, but person. In general, in general, yeah, are, no, are, you guys, in are, are you guys more louder than um, an average bear? No, I just think at the end of the day, I think it's come to a point or a place mm. where it's just like, if you don't respect us, mm. we have to tell you and be vocal mm. with how we expect you to respect us, which is fair. We've stayed silent for so long on so many different yeah. topics and so yeah. many things. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But the moment yeah. that we speak up, oh yeah. my gosh angry black woman and I remember having this at work a few times as well yeah, yeah, yeah. um oh that was it so imagine this so I'm in my office mm -hmm. and um we've got a team trip and we're going okay. to laser quest right mm -hmm. now I'm the type of person where I wear when I'm in the office I'm that girl where I come dressed up I wear heels mm -hmm. like I look the part yeah, I feel yeah, like if yeah, I look yeah, the yeah. part I'll yeah. feel the part mm -hmm. at the part yeah. um walk with grace and you know be humble in all your ways is basically mm -hmm. what I, mm -hmm. I try and make sure I exude mm -hmm. and I changed my trainers because we're all going to laser quest yeah, right cool, the whole yeah, team cool. mm -hmm. so one girl turns around to me and she's like oh it's like you go from being all classy to ghetto once you put your trainers on oh stop that <laughs> oh stop that man okay everybody's putting their trainers, trainers on. on but when you put trainers on but when there. i put trainers on yeah, 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 yeah. i've now moved from classy cool. to ghetto and the moment that i thought you know what let me just tell you about yourself politely all yeah. of a sense like oh oh it's like no 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 you're not going to do that because you already offended me by what you said mm. that's a microaggression right there because mm -hmm. you wouldn't say to you know my other friend francesca oh you go from being classy to ghetto so i feel like when we speak on things which aren't right cool. automatically people are Assume that we're being angry and cool. loud when that's not the truth cool we're saying this this can't run no 100 100 so okay that's an interesting response that's an interesting response because like i said uh do you do, do you know when you said about it it's, you're more likely to be you referred to relationships sure. being more likely together in, in white community than in the black community mm -hmm. you know that's down to who, who grew up you know what i mean there's situations where there's um there's black and you know what i mean I, I've, I've seen i've seen it often i've seen it happen either way you know what i'm saying and uh um so i don't know i'm not i'm not comfortable with people throwing that oh more likely black people are separated and whatsoever i don't know i'm not comfortable with that i don't know about yourself mm. um how you feel about that you know what i'm saying because that's that's always saying that oh black yeah, people are more likely to have kids i, 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 I want to know I want to know where he's getting this statistic from because yeah. do you remember the video that we watched last week it, where they basically said actually no 50% of black men are over actually 50%, with, over yeah, 50%. 50% yeah, yeah. so in my head I'm like where are you getting this stat from and is this stat just pulled from like the media yeah. or do you actually have a legitimate place in terms of where this has come from that's yeah. what I would like to know and I think for me personally if you're going to throw statistics out give us the data source of where it's actually come from yeah. I want to see what report this this was pulled from and you can't be just pulling stats out of media I, because we will believe it. because the thing is they could be just going to south central or ghetto area and say yo we're gonna run the stats for here and mm -hmm. apply that for the rest of the country so no, no no you've got to have a balance a balance a balance for you to yeah. and sometimes we do feed into that narrative and i and i do bump into the damage of of um, unfortunately black men in our community sp um, spraying the seeds around the place and not taking care of the children so i'm not going to be oblivious and play that play the fool over that mm. if that does happen but we but it's not the force to go run out the community and pretend like it's never happened I, i've seen i've seen plenty of people next generation step up and do a great job the next generation yeah and change things for themselves and for the generations after them you know what i'm mm. saying so mm. it's really important that you know it's important of relationships so uh, why, you know, again, he's not the author of it, Tatum. Um, he's a very opinionated guy, but I thought I'd bring his opinions out there. I get his opinions and I like his opinions. He's just a bit aggressive and very blinky the way he brings out his points. But, you know, he raises a very, very point. And, and I think that, you know, as, as Jade said, you know, um, yeah, you know, when it comes to, um, we, we have to look at the classes that we are going moving yeah, into. Yeah. And I know footballers get bashed because they're, yeah. they're always with um, um, non-black women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always, you know. Um, and that's tough for the sisters. And they're like, yo, yeah. what about us? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, and and to be honest, it's not like the girls are high class girls that they're going for. They're just going for them wag girls that go hunt them down. You know what I mean? So it's not even like you, 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 they're, just, they're, just, they're just in the right place at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Well, basically, they're nowhere to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think uh, the saddest thing about it, though, is, uh, you know, I think with black men and black people in terms of money and wealth, the more money and wealth that you attain over mm. the years, the more conservative views you tend to have to yeah. protect your money, money and wealth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you may have come from like a labor background, and yeah. but then it's kind of like your values end up getting a little bit lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's what I find quite sad in all honesty. Yeah. Not the fact that you're going for white women, it's just the fact that 
Just remember where you came from. Yeah, hundred percent. Now, hundred percent. The the massive problem for ourselves is that we don't put wealth back into the community that mm. we grew up in. You know what I'm saying? If we did. Um, we're second generation in this country we would have a lot more wealth in our community yeah. if black invested back into black um, and it's successful if even if they said yo I'm putting 5% of my earnings into a pot with professionals and we'll be servicing our community black projects and you know what I mean yeah. then, we, then we definitely see a big difference on that anyway so yeah but now that was cool from Tate I'm not going to finish off the video because he'll it, be just going on going on again people mad anyway still yeah so, so definitely want to keep Tate a bit quiet still anyway so yeah but I'm going to got, got this fun video coming up um um, and hopefully we we'll check this one out. So if you're listening in, there's um, a little three-year-old boy standing on the, the table right now. And obviously, you can feel you can feel that. The sound, <laughs> you know what's going on. And I got this boy standing on the chair. And I think it's his parents in front of him. So he's gonna lay hands on his parents. And God said he's gonna he told me he's gonna use you at three years old to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. God said he's gonna use you to the a prophet to the prophet to the nation. He's gonna begin to speak the word at a young age. The Lord told me at three, and guess what I started my ministry back up while he's three. Because I gotta obey what God said. Prophet. Call on Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Just dropped on the floor, slain in the spirit. Um, I don't think I gotta impress Jade here. <laughs> the shaking's going on. Yes, cover them up, man. Cover them up. Come on, dead bodies or something. Look happy now. Lick mommy then dad dad daddy down. <laughs> so Jay, any any commentary on this? Look, looking out looking, looking over the prey. <laughs> so we're just looking at the three old child now, still staring at his two parents that he's just staying in the spirit. I have to use the terminology. Oh, he's starting to do his little dance. Yeah man. His dad just got, kinda got back up. Ish. I, I have no words. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he looks happy, man. He's so cute, though. I'm not gonna lie, he's such a cute little kid. Um, listen, listen. Okay, 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 okay. Let so, your children be children. Okay, cool. So, so you, so, so you saw a three-hour child walking in the anointing of God. <laughs> Let your children be children. So, if you had a child, you wouldn't. That three years. <laughs> <laughs> My child be in the crash playing. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 do you get yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. learn about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But God told her. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God told her that he okay. his dad's sick, so he might, he, might, he might have to lay a hand upon him, dad, and heal him at the age of three. He never had a clue, did he? Do you know what? The <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what the? It's Look at his face. It's, do you know what as well I think this, it, it's a lot it's a big expectation to put on a kid do you get what I'm trying to mm -hmm. say God forbid and I, I pray that the daddy is well and healthy and mm -hmm. stuff like that do you get what I'm trying to say but mm -hmm. God forbid if the dad isn't well mm -hmm. and the child's gone and done that and then you know the child later on thinks was it my fault do yeah, you get what I'm trying to yeah, say yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's such a big expectation to put on a three year old yeah, 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 yeah. nah allow that 
<laughs> I actually thought that this might have been a longer conversation, but I feel like Jay's just like shooting this bad boy. Just, yeah. it's, and, if, and, the, and the sad thing is, is it, guys, and whether it's child is free, I think just like you said, children, even like 13, 14, I think that we just gotta let them be what they're going to be. And I think yeah. that we, we've forced a lot of children in this route. And this tree could be a bad year when he goes older, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What, what about all this? It really just, I don't know. If you was if you went to a church and they did that in front of you, what would you would you go I'd back? I'd walk out. <laughs> I'm not staying because you know what? As well, <laughs> for me, mm. the Holy Spirit is meant to bring peace. Mm. Okay, mm-hmm. this seems like chaos. Okay, 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 okay. It just seems a bit too chaotic for me, mm. and it's the way the dad lay down, mm-hmm. then pops up, then laid back down again. Yeah, 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 yeah. In my head, I was thinking, I don't know, it's, you know, it's coming true, man. It's coming. <laughs> Oh, get slain again what do you think about the whole being slain actually oh i'm a wesleyan i'm not pentecostal so i'm, I'm gonna be i'm gonna pull it up is it too on that one what do you, yeah, uh, what do you think about um I, I i i i remember i used to get in trouble when i used to go when i met my missus and started going to different pentecostal churches mm-hmm. and stuff like that story. But even before my missus i went to pentecostal churches they'll put their hands on me and, and, yeah. and, and i would budge you like my front, my front yeah do you know what i've yeah. always said if people come don't touch my head don't, no, no, no. My thing is, I'm very spiritually. I feel like you need to be guarded as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. People shouldn't just be coming up to you and, and laying, laying hands. hands. Yeah, yeah, I'm no, 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 no. Yeah. that don't run. So mm. don't touch my head. Do you get mm, what I'm trying mm, to say? Mm. If you're praying for me, I want to hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. So when the musical mm-hmm. stuff is going on, mm-hmm. if I can't mm-hmm. hear you, yeah, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. I need to hear the words that you're speaking over my life in this prayer. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I need yeah, to protect yeah, my yeah. peace, my yeah, spirit, everything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. First of all. Don't push me because I'm not falling. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing the whole, okay, I pushed you now go back. No, no, no. I stand strong and firm in the word of God. I'm not going but down people, like people, that. People go down, man. Trust me. And it's just like they go down and I don't know what procession they're, they're, they're trying to hit out anyway. So yeah, but that was, that, that was quite intriguing for me. And, and me personally, I'm just not really, you got to be really careful with this. Yeah. Really, really, really careful. Yeah. Um, uh, you can't say that God can't use the children. I think people might put in there and say, oh, God can use a child and whatever this year. But I do feel that this is, man, they're looking at child services aren't coming in this place. If it's a UK, man, child services. Really? <laughs> hey. you, you think so? Like, like, like well, you, know, get, get, you know, it's like, if you've seen uh, two witches, you know what I'm saying? It's not the same thing, but okay. we had to show is okay. no, no, let's pretend like, because we, we're just looking at, because we're the good side, it's cool. Mm. But if you saw two witches getting their child, to cast spells on them. How would you feel? You're not lying there, Raj. You're not lying. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? You'd be I like this. I'd be like, yo, 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 get that picnic out of there because the you. force in there, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So if you, you get in it to, and this is, I'm not saying this is the same thing, but in, so there's bad spirit and there's good spirit. You flipped it differently and it's true yeah, what you're yeah, saying. So it's just like, for me, it's just like, yo, we've got to be, you know, one more for one and one more for the other. That's you true. know what I'm saying? You know, end of the day, so you, when people come to age, you let them do the thing at the age. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What it is because it's just longevity, but to the pity they don't even know what he's doing, man. I know. I it's just know. bless his heart. He just want to go home and have his rice and peas and chicken, man, and plantain on the side, man, with macaroni cheese. Honestly. You get me blood and some big dollop of gravy next to it, and then have some Viennetta ice cream straight after that. That's what all that boy is looking for. And two tweaks after that, by the looks of things. If you but, went to a church like that, what would you do? Oh, I'd be gone, man. I, you yeah, yeah, I, would I, you even wait around to the end? Ah, uh, listen, it, yeah, it, would it, you just it, walk out? Uh, uh, you know, because I'm 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 a, I'm a respectful guy like that. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get to the end. Okay. Have an hour to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and never come back. Take communion, leave. I don't about communion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know about communion. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll contact the safeguarding on a Monday. You know what I'm saying? You know. But the, but the worst thing is that is that is very dangerous to get a free old to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know all manner of uh, sports anyway. So yeah. yeah. But we don't be hyping. You know, obviously, parents, if you're watching this video and going, how did talk about our son like that how dare they talk about us right now look at you know what i mean it's not even we do dude you know what i'm saying yeah you know i mean it's just like you know where's the where's the spiritual maturity in that place mm. you know what I'm saying? and we have to stop focusing on signs and wonders and it's i don't know if it, it's it, i'm not saying it's for, for me i don't want to be keeping swiping at pentecostalism yeah but it's full-on thing on signs and wonders i just does my head in without substance and knowledge yeah, you know what i'm saying true. you know yeah. and you're like this to me is 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 borderline abuse of the child because you're using it you're using it you're using it for a circus trick i hear that is this a circus mm. people you might think roger you're wicked you know i go you know i go heaven but the thing is listen we call prophets into the church we pay the money 
to come tell us our future what's that mate that's a fortune teller that's a fortune teller there ain't no profit profit comes in and warns you and tells you about your life and walks out whether you can get five pound from you or not but profits get paid and get half the offering and then go away profits give you the anointing to cover you but you got to pay your 10 percent a month to the organization to be a bishop yeah you think i don't know people yeah yeah you're gonna be a puzzle so you have to nah guys man no no no, no. that's some um, that, that that's a pyramid scheme right there still you know what i'm saying so you need to call things for what it is you know what i'm saying sorry i'm gonna get totally battered after this these, these comments here but I'm um you know, you know what i'm saying i'm just going in man because yo i've seen too much in church yo i'm just putting it out there man people sorry okay so <laughs> so jay's gonna now round off the whole show now because why just gonna why do i go into a whole car whole 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 get rex mode but yeah i think you just that's got that's got triggered then i, I can tell <laughs> such enough it's a it, it didn't I touch at first. that yeah it didn't touch me at first but then when as as as, God, as, as the lord god was revealing to me he, 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 from the depth of my soul, he came out. Oh, you know, so, man. You know, so, you know he oh, spoke boy. to me. Thus saith the Lord, KJV but, version. You know, I do hear you in terms of, you know, this is circus, circus, circus. circus. chaos. Yeah. That's me saying circus yeah. is meant to be chaos. Yeah, chaos yeah. isn't Person, from yeah. God. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So, this situation here, this setup, it's a little bit, it's unsettling. <sighs> it's where elements of witchcraft and all sorts of things can come into the church because people just can't see the difference. Mm. Kind of see the difference. Mm, that's and, and that's, that's why that witches got just function like the jokes, like yeah, extra true. joke, and, and we need to need to get it sorted out. But listen, guys, that is the last video for today. Yes, it's a, a definitely a different a different show today, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, you definitely rounded this one off. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, I give the final yeah. word, like yeah, naturally, yeah. and now Roger was just shutting the whole thing down. Like, <laughs> I'm like these comments. In, yeah, put your comments in YouTube, please. Who's, yeah. the, um, who's the presenter that sits with Piers Morgan? What's her name called again? Suzanne. It yeah, it's still like, yeah, yeah. Do you know when Piers goes and he's right, she's sitting there, she's just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that was me, guys. That was me. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just put out the truth. Uh, Piers, I'll be, uh, you know, me, yo, if you want to shout out me, just shout me out if you're on the Pentecostal <laughs> side, man, and just shut me down. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm there to learn, people. I'm there to learn. But listen, guys, thanks again for listening in. Um, alongside Jade here on the Finitech, Tech, we're here to put out these videos. Do send us some videos in, and I do kind of put out to the presenters to hit me some current videos, hence why I found a couple of these today, for, um, courtesy of some of the, um, the networks that I, we have got on the social media, which has a good laugh and giggle. We can giggle at this, but there's a very serious motion to a lot of these videos out there as well. That we need to glean from and actually understand and learn from and maybe you agree or disagree i don't know i mean jed agrees or disagrees like dc versus marvel we don't know but it's marvel out here yes dc right about <laughs> here man. So the batman batman you know what i'm saying aquaman and flash and yeah you know i'm saying she's she's i'm too black adam black that's adam. not black you know what i'm saying the black adam has who is what is from hawaii listen I'm black, so he's black. He's only two tone higher than me. <laughs> so I'm gonna get in trouble for that making that statement there. Two tone higher, you know. <laughs> but anyway, listen, Roger. This is listen, listen, Roger. Listen, people. Jade, Roger Moore here. On Infinity Extra. Nothing but love, people. Blessings, man. What's going on people? I'm DJ H here. Make sure you check out all the stuff Affinity Extra's got going on, man. We've got loads of content, loads of things coming out. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you know. Make listen, listen. Don't go anywhere, you know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe is the main thing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like it and share it with your brethren, yeah? 